So in my hands today I have Mizuno's brand new MX Fly High. So this is the one that's going to take over from the CLK uh, Fly High that Fly High that's already out there at the minute. Um, the MX Fly High is quite different in its appearance. Uh, we see a little bit of offset here at the bottom, which you didn't get so much in the CLK version. You get this drop off on the back, which makes the club look nice and moves the gravity. The centre of gravity lower again. Um, more at the bottom and at the back of the club. What you also get, which you're getting in all the MX range, from the Irons and through now to the uh, Rescue Clubs, is you get this wide tune bar on the bottom, pushing that, um, uh, pushing the hitting area more out towards the toe, as in so the sweet spot's obviously always in the middle where you want it to be, but it's also extending out towards the toe of the club, which is great for those miss hits. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get a few shots to let you know, you, you guys know what it feels like. I'm also going to hit a few out the toe with this club to get a feel of how this uh, wide tune bar works on the bottom as well. So here we go. First impressions looking down at the club looks great. Love the little offset, certainly makes it easier not to leap the ball off to the right. Here we go. Let's give it a hit. Feels nice in your hands. Okay, that's a pretty good strike and that ball's flying. I've got the uh, 20 degree 3 here and that's gone good trajectory, much better than I would get with a free iron. I mean I've always been a five wood kind of player rather than a long iron so the, the rescues for me make a lot of sense. Uh, that felt really good, just going to try and have a one. Again like I say the offset on this club does help, makes you feel much more, much friendlier than the CL, okay? Yeah that's going dead straight, I like that, feels nice. It's good, so I've hit both of those quite near the middle of the club, felt good off the face, enjoyed hitting that one, looks great to look down at. So what we're going to try now, I've got a bit of uh, face tape here, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit a couple of shots uh, out the toe, so rather than trying to hit it with a middle, I'm going to try and hit it with the toe of the club to see exactly what this wide tune bar does for me, if anything, because Mizuno is saying it's uh, makes a big difference. Certainly did in the irons that I tested. So let's try again with this one, trying to hit it a bit out the toe. Okay. I mean that's flown brilliantly. Now I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but basically the hit pattern there, I've caught that one nicely out the toe of the club. You can see the strike there out the toe hopefully on the tape. And that ball really has flown really not much different to how the first ones went out the middle. And I've hit that exactly where that extra Y tune bar is at the end. So let's just try that again out the toe. Cool, I've caught that right out the toe. But it's still flying straight. Not as far that one, but again that one's come. I don't know if you're picking that up on the camera, that one again has come out the toe, exactly what I tried to do, but it still feels like something's happening off the face, it still feels like it's flying, which I think is a great asset to this club. Certainly as ever, looks good with the Mizunos, I like the little offset this one gives, which the other one didn't. The wide tune bar at the moment for me is working fantastically, works great in the MX 100 and 200 irons, but certainly in the fly high that really good. I mean the proof's there hitting that out the toe and that ball is still flying distance wise, direction very similar to I hit it when I hit it out the middle. Good club, I think that's going to be a good one to replace those long irons. 